welcome back to the channel. I'm headed to work in about uh, uh, 20 minutes. I'll take you guys along. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to actually film with you guys in there, but we'll see. So uh, let's get into it. I'm back from work now, finally. I'm kind of bored and I had an idea. I think I'm gonna go over my card collection just for a bit, because I think that might be interesting. So let's get into it. This is my unopened card collection. Kind of insane. And this is all unopened. I have more open decks, but I'm just gonna show you the unopened ones, okay? Started off over here, green cohorts, pretty basic from Illusionist. Super fun, and I have them in red as well. Um, this is just the back. A bunch of them when they were like two or three dollars on illusionist but i think they still are currently but their decks are dead sale um, okay next up is these black i think this is just the special edition wh decks uh, i can't remember what they're called i believe it's time time something about time these are their special edition black version um, and these are their classic blue version this company is out of brazil so these are a little expensive i think they're like 15 dollars a pack but they're super nice. Next we have these neon green Nox from Pandrea. Uh, I love these things. Uh, that's why I only have five left. <laughs> I think I had like 12 to begin with. I left one in an Uber once by accident. Um, not very happy about that. <laughs> Is these Diva playing cards, you know, first edition V1. I believe there's only two editions. There's the first edition and then there's a French edition with the colors of the French flag colors. Uh, these are awesome, I like these a lot. Stock is oblique by card cuts these are also pretty fun not my, I don't know why they're they're just crushed bicycle stock but for some reason they feel they feel a little weird to me but they're they're fun it's borderless Republic cards by Jeremy Griffin it's a signature on the back not his real signature but you know it's still cool it's got this little casing like a cigar these are super fun next is these Knights v2 I have a brick of them uh, not here this is I think 11 of them because I have one opened I just got these so these are V2. I don't know, you know, Chris Ramsey and Daniel Madison. I don't know if they're still getting profits from these because I think they both left Illusionist. They both left Illusionist, so I'm not sure. But see, red cohorts. These are fun, super cheap bicycle murals. That's what the pack looks like. Uh, pretty fun, cheap. That's why I got them. Same thing here. I don't know why it says seven. I didn't get them for seven. I think I got them for like five bucks. These are also fun and cheap, and they're just regular bicycle, like rider back quality. They're good. These are pretty old school and fun. I believe these are V2 Artifice Blue Edition. Uh, I like these a lot. Um, however, they're pretty thick, I think, compared to modern modern cards, especially these. These are super thin. I just realized that I put that in this here. Oh, well. These are like some of my favorite cards ever. I don't believe this stock and finish even exists anymore on cards. Um, I don't remember what it is. I think it's like Crushed E7 something. I don't remember what company but they feel so good and they're so fun and I like these a lot. Next up is the Hellions from Daniel Madison. These are the V3, I believe, because um, I think you can actually still find these at certain websites for like $6 a piece, not bad. These are super good, they f they're pretty thick. Um, they feel feel really nice. I think it's the Cardamundi B7. I don't know if it's on the slim line or the, I don't remember what the other stock is called, but they're super nice. These are awesome. I bought two of them, one for me and one for my mom. They're Rebellion Salt and Bone cards. These are probably the, probably the nicest feeling tuck case ever. Obviously you guys can't feel it through, feel it through the screen, but it's pretty nice. Cards, they're kind of so-so because they're black borders, not my favorite. These is the Black Rounders from Daniel Madison. These are super old school. I only have two, one opened, and this is the unopened one. I probably will never open this. Um, but yeah, these are awesome. Wish I had more, but now they're really expensive. Uh, White Arcanes, also old school. Got these when I was like 12. Um, not a big fan of you know how they look. They're cool, but I don't know, not my style. Now these, I love these. I have uh, quite a few of them. The Marbles. I got these off Illusionist. They're the Marbles V2. They get a lot of hate because they don't really look like the Marbles V1, but whatever. I like them, so more for me. Uh, next is just bicycles. I have red and blue. 
kind of running out of them because I use them all the time because uh, they're they're nice and I don't have to feel bad about bending them or ripping them or whatever. Uh, then I just have these. These are just like gas station decks, bicycle frosted, cool for sure. This one is not a gas station deck. This is a uh, bicycle black ghost, I think. Second edition, yeah, second edition right here. I saw a, one of these go for like eighty dollars on eBay, which is pretty crazy. Um, and this is the last one. This is just bicycle ice. Looks pretty cool. But yeah, this is my card collection at the moment. That kind of got organized. I want to get one of those like uh, actual deck holders, so I can put like one of each. But yeah, for now, I think it looks alright. Today's video is getting a little late. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.